Good morning, everybody. It is a Wednesday, September 25th, and I'm Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Uh, of course, uh, we're all looking for Helene, which is poised to become a hurricane just about any time. Maximum sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. So the winds only have to go up another uh, three or four miles per hour, and it will officially become a Category 1 hurricane. Yes, it's w still way down there uh, in the, or near the Yucatan and uh, just the western side of Cuba, and it's going to go directly into the Gulf of Mexico as we uh, go through the day and the next few days, but it's strengthening pretty quickly. You can see here that it uh, starts out going from a tropical storm to a hurricane very quickly. Uh, the movement is to the northwest, so it's going to start to veer more northeast as it's being steered by high pressure, a high pressure and a low pressure system on either side of the system, which is going to help steer uh, eventually the remnants of Helene up into the Mid-South, Tennessee, Kentucky, by the weekend, by Friday, actually. And look how quickly we go from here today, 7 a.m. Wednesday, to uh, making landfall probably late Thursday night, uh, Thursday evening, maybe, toward uh, late Thursday night right there in the peninsula of Florida. That's where hurricane warnings are up. And this, this storm is forecast to maybe become a category three hurricane as it makes landfall right there. Uh, and, uh, that would make it a major hurricane. Anything that's category three or higher is considered, um, a major hurricane. That's unfortunate because the wind fields and the path of this thing, it's, it's going to become a very big storm storm surge here, about 10 to 15 feet possibility of tornadoes. And of course the wind destruction, because when you get up to category three, you're talking about, you know, 115, 120, 125 mile per hour winds. Um, and as you can see, all these, Hurricane warnings are up. We've got uh, tropical storm warnings that are up. Hurricane watches that are up. I mean, it's it's uh, it is going to be a very much talked about storm. And even as it comes inland early Friday morning in parts of western Georgia, it still may be at hurricane strength, maybe category one or two. But as it comes inland, it is going to be steered back to the west. And its remnants then becoming a tropical depression. That's what the D stands for, or at least the National Hurricane Center is looking at it to become a tropical depression as it moves over Tennessee and Kentucky. It is going to bring us some considerable rainfall here in southern Kentucky. And so this is going to be definitely a storm to, to keep an eye on. What we're getting today or what we got yesterday the day before and what we're getting today, nothing to do with Helene. Helene is still way down in the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. So everything that you're seeing today is just with a cold front that's uh, moving through and uh, it's, it's going to continue to bring us that chance of rain, which we have seen and even seeing a little bit this morning, there's a look outside the window here at uh, 738 current time this morning as I'm doing the podcast bit of a breeze cloudy skies there have been a few light rain showers but nothing much more than that uh, this morning from the Plano cam as you can see right there let me show you uh, what we're looking at as far as rainfall projections over the next um, say five to seven days and you can see that uh, yeah we're still looking at anywhere from Oh, two to four inches. I think two to four inches is a good window. Uh, two inches on the low side, up to four inches on the high side. And there will be some 
in the Cumberland Plateau areas to our south and east, which may get closer to five inches of rain over the next several days. So this is going to be a very beneficial, but also a very soaking rainfall. And we could see some flooding issues out of this as we go through uh, the next few days. So you've got the rains that have come through already that have put down an inch, two inches or so added up total uh, just from the cold front that's passing through. And then you're going to add this to that. Uh, That's going to be significant. And we may see some river flooding and may even see some flash flooding, especially as we get into Thursday night and during the day Friday. I think that's when the heaviest of the rains are going to come through. Now, this is not going to be um, severe weather like tornadoes and things like that. This is going to be rain, 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 rain and lots of it. Uh, This is unlike what happened with Florence when we said the remnants are going to come up here and they're going to linger for a while and give us about five or six days worth of rain. This is a different setup in that it looks a little more, a little more possible uh, than that last system did. Uh, That last system just went too far away from us to the West and we never got the benefit of the rain. But this time I think we will. So prepare for that. Let's take a look at radar on this uh, Wednesday morning. I'll blow it up here for you. And you can see that we have very little, very little in the way of rain. And whatever rain is out there is either moving off to our east or is weakening. And that's because the atmosphere has been pretty worked over the last couple of days of the uh, rain and thunderstorms, especially yesterday afternoon when we had some stronger storms in the area, a couple of severe storms, uh, some reports of some hail and some uh, minor wind damage. And there were even a couple of tornado warnings yesterday to the east of us into central Kentucky, but uh, nothing really uh, uh, materialized from any of that. Further south, this is all a result of the uh, flood, or I'm sorry, There are flood watches out, but that's in anticipation of Helene moving in over parts of eastern Alabama, much of Georgia. This is all associated with the cold front, and some of the tropical moisture has yet to be realized uh, just yet, but it's coming. In fact, you can begin to see it right here east of Cancun and over parts of Cuba and out here where we don't have radar coverage. We're starting to see some of that moisture moving northward. And so you've got all these hurricane watches and warnings, tropical storm watches and warnings that are out pretty much for the entire state of Florida. And then some of that goes into Southern Georgia as well. So this is, this is a much anticipated storm. And then you see the green indicating where a lot of the uh, flood watches are already in effect in anticipation of Helene coming in and just putting down some very, very heavy rainfall. We're not going to get the heaviest. That's going to be further south and east of us, but I think we're going to get plenty of rain, as you see, out of that system. All right, let's check the mesonet numbers this morning. We'll see just where our temperatures are, and they are pretty much in the mid to upper 60s, as you might expect. Uh, That's where they were about this time yesterday morning across southern Kentucky. How much rain did you guys pick up? Let's go last 24 hours. And we can see that here in Bowling Green, another quarter inch to about four tenths of an inch on top of the inch and a half to inch and three quarters we picked up the day before. And so that, that means we're looking better Still not a drought buster, though. Still, we are are going to continue to deal with the drought a little bit longer. We need just a little bit more rain, consistent soaking rainfall to get rid of that drought situation. But it's this is much much better. Uh, lighter amounts back to the west. We've had anywhere from a half inch to six tenths to uh, three tenths. You can see various amounts here off to the east. This is where the heaviest of the rains fell yesterday from Adair to KC County. Um, You head back down toward the Lake Cumberland area. That's where some of the heaviest of the rains were 
uh, noted yesterday. The winds this morning coming out of the northwest at 5 to 10, and then we're getting um, maybe a little breezy at times up to about 10 miles per hour. But uh, the winds will certainly pick up, especially Thursday into Friday because that's when we'll start to feel some of the effects of Helene moving our direction. For now, the winds will stay pretty uh, calm and pretty steady, but Thursday night into Friday, heavy rain, gusty winds. That's going to be with us. Friday is just going to be a blustery day, kind of a blustery, very wet and rainy and windy day because of the remnants of Helene Uh, that will be moving into our area. All right, let's take a look at the model blender. We'll check temperatures here and see how things are going to shake out with that. And as you can see, we're going to stay cool or I guess you could say cooler than we have recently. We're going to go from um, upper seventies today to low seventies by Friday and Saturday with all the rain and the wind and the remnants of Helene Moving through the area, that's going to cool us down just because of the clouds and the rain and the dampness in the air. Then we try to warm back up into the upper 70s to around 80 by the middle of next week, which will be the beginning of October. And then you see a bigger cool down coming uh, as we clear things out. We get into the middle of an end of next week. Highs only in the 70s and lows. And look at that upper 40s on Thursday night into Friday morning. And that's going to feel nice. So some fall like air is going to come our way, but we're going to have to wait until next week before we will start to see that. Even though we've officially, of course, uh, moved into autumn, no more summer, no more summer, even though it may get warm every now and then summer is officially over. All right, here's a look at the maps and we'll, Uh, track both this cold front that is uh, kind of lagging around area of low pressure over Mississippi. And then Helene will come into view. We can watch all of that happen right here. So all of this is associated with this system. Helene is still way down here in the Yucatan channel, uh, just a little Southeast of Cancun. Okay. So that's its current position. Let's go step further. And you can see how it becomes a hurricane later today. And then we're dealing with this stalled frontal boundary. That's going to keep showers in our forecast. We're not seeing that much out there right now. We may see a few pop up this afternoon and this evening. That's when the better chance of rain exists for our area today, but squiggly line here, back and forth wobble in the uh, frontal boundary. That's stationary. The low pressure system will ride along the front and re-enhance some of the rainfall coverage as we get into tonight and tomorrow, even though tomorrow there may be another cutoff period like we're seeing right now where there's not so much rain coming down and it's not so heavy, but that is going to change as we start to see and feel the remnants of Helene. This is Thursday morning as it makes its approach to the peninsula of Florida and some of that moisture is going to stray northward and meet up with this system that's been hanging around here for the past couple of days. And that is going to really up the rain chances. Here it comes. And we start to see better rain chances as we get into Thursday night. I think the rainfall rate will start to pick up. The winds will also start to pick up Thursday night into Friday. And then after it makes landfall, it goes quickly toward Atlanta. And we're still dealing with that leftover front. And you can see then how the influence of Helene and the remnants of Helene are going to influence our weather into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it just kind of floats around here, keeps us in that shield of rain, maybe not as heavy of a rain as we get into Saturday and Sunday. Scattered showers uh, will continue into Monday and then into Tuesday. 
and Wednesday, the first couple of days of October, we finally see a cold front pick up the remnants of Helene and start to push it off to the east and northeast away from us. But until that time, we're going to deal with both the slow-moving cold front, the stalled cold front, another ripple of low pressure along that front, and then the remnants of Helene move in Thursday night into Friday and for the beginning of the weekend, and that's what's going to keep us wet and windy as we uh, go through time. All right. Thanks to everybody that's uh, in the chat room this morning. Appreciate you watching. I'm on the radio right now. You can listen to Sam 100.7. And this evening, I'll be on your TV at News 40, WNKY, NBC, and CBS 40 at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and God bless.